I'll be honest, one, one danger that I've seen in first-time directors is an over-reliance upon music to tell the story. And quite often they're very used to their Avatrack. And anything that wasn't in the Avatrack, they find distracting just because they haven't heard it before. They're not sitting back as an audience member. They're, they're the person who, who directed it, shot it, maybe wrote it. They have a fixed idea in their mind of what the film is. They're not necessarily watching the film on the screen. That doesn't go for all first-time directors, of course, but that has been my experience uh, on a few films. And so I would always encourage uh, first-time directors to be a little open to the sounds of the world because I think they convey, truly can convey as much emotion and as much information as the music does. If, if done with sensitivity and, and respect for the, the story and the characters and, you know, in the context of the film that's been made, it's a little more invisible to the audience. The audience is a little bit more aware of music uh, happening simultaneous to the movie unspooling than they are of the sound effects, which, again, they assume are just recorded when the movie was shot, which allows the sound editor to get away with a lot. You can, you can put in sounds that are odd, that, that maybe are just random noises that happen in the background, but they fill out the scene and they add a character to the location that, that it wouldn't have without those. And, uh, and the audience just accepts it. Unless it's something incredibly crazy, the audience just accepts it because it was recorded when the movie was shot, right? So we really have a secret weapon that we can get away with uh, using and not, not have many people notice it. <laughs> ¶¶